Hello, it's Dame here uh, to take you through a new video process uh, of this portrait piece. Uh, I love this new feature in Rebel Fry. This is the time lapse feature. It's hugely valuable to someone like me who has very little time to film a whole art process from scratch and then edit it, voiceover, etc., etc. Uh, videos like this, basically. <laughs> so I use this feature a lot. I'm basically just um, doing the beginning stages, the beginning process of this painting. Um, you'll see when we move on to the, um, here we go, uh, move on to this <laughs> section. I'm using another new feature which is two reference photos. Again, hugely valuable. I can never stick with one reference, I need more than one. Uh, the top left is, um, is the face and the one that I'm primarily using. And the bottom uh, reference photo is an art piece by Jenny Savile, who is one of my favourite artists. I love her, the way she paints flesh. She, her brush strokes are so clear and vivid and, and realistic. You know, she's got an amazing technique. So I'd love to try and emanate that in Rebel, um, which is surprisingly easy to do for digital software. You can really make these authentic brush strokes. It's really beautiful. And I also love the colours that she uses in that piece, again with the blues and the pinks and oranges and the flesh. I'm trying to um, emanate that and you know let my let my inner saddle act. <laughs> so, uh, not that I can come close, but yeah, this is really fun to do. You can see as I go along that I'm mainly sticking to the um, oil brushes. Uh, my favourite are the flats, the flat oily, one of my favourites, and the bright oily is one of my favourites as well. Um, those are the my two ones that I still. Oh, there's one of my cats. <laughs> That's a <laughs> good timing, Oliver. That's one of the um, one of my favourite ones. And you can see another feature I really like in um, the top right is um, the colour wheel. It's been put into boxes, into grids, and um, that's really helpful for me. I really struggle um, with uh, seeing colour hues on the wheel, so that really helps me be, be more precise in my colour choices. And now I've moved on to using the knife brushes, um, which is another new um, addition. Well, there, yeah, there was, was a knife brush, but they added more, and I love these textures. Uh, that's definitely a goal with this piece, was to see how much um, texture I could add into the skin.
you'll see on the left side of the window there's uh, textured brushes um, and also on um, the settings I've got three brushes, uh, paint brushes. I'm using the third one along, which is blending the paint on the canvas as if it were a real wet paint. The one uh, along from that, it doesn't do that. It doesn't blend with the canvas as you, uh, with, with the paint you've already got underlying as you go. So you can have really different effects um, depending on which setting you choose. Also further along from those, right in the middle of the screen on the left, there's a little blue box, it's the multicolour brush setting, which again uh, blends the colours really beautifully and effectively, as if they were real oils. It's um, really changed how I use uh, the software. It's really fun to use and um, see how how the paint now blends colour together is really clever. Yo soy una hija de Lintisol, de la Pachamama y de Lintisol. Yo soy hermana del pueblo Coya, del Inque hermano y de la Aymara, de la Aymara. Now you can see I'm just finishing up the hair. I'm trying to keep the brush strokes as clear and as abstract as possible. Uh, another thing I struggle with, I tend to zoom in and go into every single detail, uh, but I think I managed to restrain myself well enough this time. And this is the finished piece. Uh, let me know what you think. A huge thank you to 
the Rebel team, everybody at Skate Motion. Uh, thank you so much for watching.